All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start this video off by telling you that I lied to you, but I really didn't mean to. No, girl, no, no. The other day, um, in my Mail Monday video, I said that Sam was gone on tour, and I didn't know, and I've actually said that for a couple weeks now, like, you know, when Sam's on tour, I don't know when I'm gonna see him again, it's probably gonna be a couple months. Well, that I thought that was true when I when I said it, <laughs> because I, I completely forgot that there were, there's gonna be intervals where Sam's gonna be, you know, back, you know, from tour, you know, at home in between, you know, tour dates and stuff. Let's just say he does one show, uh, you know, one week and one day or whatever in Arkansas or whatever, and they're on the way to Nevada. I mean, they'll, they'll stop at their own house here in Oklahoma. It just makes, you know, perfect sense. And I completely forgot about that and stuff, but a uh, long story short guys um, I didn't mean to lie to you and I just wanted to you know uh, Explain that so you guys aren't uh, you know like well How is Sam in this video when you said that he was gone? That is why because I completely forgot about you know the the intermediaries and in between tour You know like shows and stuff like that, but you know in between venues and all that so my bad I completely forgot But uh, what's really really cool is um, you know uh, we, we decided to sit down today and play some 2002 format and um, you know I, I've said this several times, you know, me and Sam love playing 2002 format. We really, really, really love playing the format. We play it together all the time. But, um, you know, we are currently in the middle of kind of rebuilding our own uh, current Yu-Gi-Oh format because we just had a huge man list and stuff. Um, you know, so, I mean, I, I, I'll probably talk about, uh, you know, what happened in the regionals this weekend. I'll probably talk about that, you know, this week and stuff. Uh, but I don't feel like talking about that right now because, you know, this is old school Sunday after all. So um, I'm not going to talk about that right now. But what I will say is that we do play a lot of 2002 format. And even though, um, you know, we should probably be spending more time defining the current format. Uh, Sam and I play a lot of 2002 and we really take note of um, interactions you know that we that we have in 2002 so we can continuously get better and better and better at the format and so that we can you know further define the format and stuff and so that um, you know we can come up with and, and fully define um, you know what decks can be played or what, what the best card choices are what weird card choices are possible things like that and stuff and I don't know how else to really describe what we really do with 2002 format other than to kind of show you. So what I did is I kind of just recorded. He, he knew I was recording. He even asked at the beginning of the, the, beginning of the video. It's really funny. So like um, all, what I did, uh, there's a lot of things that I can't really explain to you guys. I just kind of have to show you, you know, um, as far as like, you know, learning how to get the most value out of a card, you know, learning, you know, how powerful a side deck can be, you know, things like that. And um, through 2002 format, I think that you can see it you know, see card advantage and see card value and everything in its most simple form. And I feel like, um, you know, it's very, very informative to play 2002 format and it's very, very informative to watch 2002 format. Matter of fact, even just editing the video that you're about to see, I even learned some things, guys. Just watching myself play back, listening to myself speak and stuff, listening to Sam speak again, you know, speak back and watching the moves that he made and stuff. I even learned just editing this video even more about 2002 format than I knew before we made it. So that's really, really cool. And I just wanted to share this video with you guys because once again, like I just have a lot of fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh channel for crying out loud. I want to share, you know, everything Yu-Gi-Oh with you guys. And so the purpose of this video is, is it's, it kind of serves two purposes. Uh, purpose number one, I'm showing off, you know, the intricacies and just the depth of 2002 format and also showing, uh, you know, we, me and Sam are speaking out loud as we're playing. So it also teaches you the format and it teaches you some of our thought processes that are going on in the format. Format. And this also teaches you, you know, like I said a second ago, it really boils down card advantage and shows you simplified card advantage. It shows you a simplified card value and it shows you, and, and this, I say it over and over in this video, I really show the power of the side deck in this video. I'm going to quit rambling on now, okay? So I really hope that you enjoyed this video, guys, or at the very least, I really hope that you learned something. Oh, I'm also still playing this like it's a game one situation, by the way. Otherwise, I would have made a, second, a, a different move a second ago. But um, I'm just going to tell you right now, okay, um, a second ago, um, if, so let's just say if I knew this was, uh, let's just say... Um, Wait, are you recording right now? Yeah, I am, I am. Are we going to edit this out or something? No, 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 I'm just going to keep it no. in. I'm just keeping it in. It's like, <laughs> no, no, we're, we're just talking, dude, we're just talking. We're, like, okay. we're, 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 we're further, we're further um, the drilling down into this format. So like, yeah. right, like right then, like knowing that that last game you won with Burn, um, I should have right there instead of setting the wall of illusion like how I normally want to start going first because wall of illusion yeah. and, sta and standard mirror is like you want to open the wall of illusion. Mm -hmm. um, it's the best card to open. It is. So, Literally. So um, in a game two situation though against burn, I should have set the the man eater bug knowing that you're just gonna set a monster. I want to set mm -hmm. a man eater bug and then flip and then like get be a monster ahead of you. Mm -hmm. especially, especially because I opened up the worm beast too. So technically, okay. what what I should have done. 
um, you know, like I'm once once again, I'm playing this like a game one though, right? But in like yeah. a game, but in a game two situation, um, I should have I should have went bug, and then like when you set a monster flip like uh, well, before I flip the bug, okay, let's, let, let me back up. So turn one, I set bug. Turn two, you set a monster, right? My next turn, I normal summon Wicked Worm Beast. If you don't trap hole it, then my next move would be to flip the bug and pop your monster and attack with the Worm Beast and the, the bug. Yeah. Right? Makes sense. Right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but in this situation, it's like, what do I do? Yeah. Because, um, like, I'm going to have to take damage to figure out what that is. But I want to do it with with the worm beast mm. though. Chain. Right. Uh, chain. Ooh, that's good. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, that's good, <laughs> Eugene. Yeah, yeah and, and like, see, and like, when the theory and that that further goes, like, since worm beast is like so good and like the standard mirror <laughs> and stuff, like that made that makes just desserts like even more like, viable. So good. Yes, yeah. like that's oh my gosh, so good. Okay, so, um, in this scenario. I think I want to. I mean, I want to take the least amount of damage as possible, but I need to find well, out. Well, that ways. and plus, if it's a wall, he's going to return anyway. So exactly. it's like exactly. Like, okay, so I'll take six. And we'll just say that's going to bounce back because it's going to come back anyways, and then uh, you go. Okay. Yeah, with um, with burn though, it's like it's really awkward because. And technically, I should have let uh, left the wall of illusion set. Yeah, no, knowing that that was a two K booty, actually, mm -hmm. actually, no, no, not necessarily. Um, either way, it, it was a proper move. Actually, now that I think about it, because that could have been a bug, and yeah, I, and, I, and I could have forced you into a scenario where you're like, well, do I get rid of the wall or do I get rid of the the worm beast? Like, and this is cool right here, because right. like the stone will just come back to my hand, unless you have that. Yeah. Ooh, it's still come back to my hand. Yeah, it's still come back, but I saved the wall. Yeah, and then. I will set one, two, set the stone, and then go. So now that yeah, it's like really weird in 2002. Like, um, I mean, we were talking about it earlier, but like everything that you know about card advantage and one for ones and stuff, like, goes out the window whenever you're playing burn. Like, because you have to, like, play so many neg one cards. Like, you play double card destruction, double. Um, Swords, but I mean, you play that obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> best card in the format. Like you gotta play. Yeah. That. Um. Well, well, the thing is about two thousand two is there's only there's only a few cards that get you pluses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I mean, your 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 plus one cards are Potter, Greed, Raigeki, and Dark Hole. Yeah. Um, and your and your other pluses are technically uh, trap, like your flips, like Trap Master and Main Eater Bug. Yeah. Um. Let's do this. Let's go. And everything else is on this. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Sweet. Uh, target wall. Target wall. Yeah. So, so, right so yeah. Right but, but the thing nah, is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna normal summon the uh, or flip summon the wall or the uh, stone because I don't want to get trapped. It's like not, it's not worth it. Oh, that's good. That's like, good. I don't know if you, I don't know if you have the trap. No, no, or not, no. But like, well, yeah, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Yeah, just, no, just keep talking it out. Just keep talking it out because like, that's. Yeah. I mean, we haven't played we haven't played this format against each other in a minute, and we need to refresh yeah. it. Not like not only refresh our memory, <clears throat> memory, but like the more that we can like, so. get down about this, like the better. Yeah. Um. So I look. I'm gonna assume that that's a wall, but since I saw it, but like it might be a bug. You could have swapped it out. I'm gonna well, guess. That the thing is, I have to use my intuition. Like, is that bug, or did you cut bug? Because I didn't see a bug all game last game, and we went through a lot of cards. Mm-hmm. But pretending that this is a game one situation, I'm not going to do the move that I want to do, okay? Oh, crap. I don't know why I just did that. Why I did you do misclick. that? I misclicked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just I tried to click on my grave to check and then stupid dueling book. No. Uh -oh. Shuffle. No. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> We're good. Because um, that would have been too good. Yeah. yeah I'm not going to do what I want to do. Well, I... I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna do what I want to do. I'm gonna do what I feel like would be the correct move if this was a game mm -hmm. one, and and I don't know you're playing burn, because I didn't see. I know I still. I know you're playing burn actually, because I saw the two just desserts. Either yeah, way. so you know by now. Yeah, I do know by now. Um, either way, let's look at that. Okay. And then you got fissure. Mm -mm. 
I was just really hoping that it was a bug. Just really hoping it was a bug, because that would have been a good combo, because you go... So, the, so why it would have been a good combo if it was a bug? Um, so mm -hmm. I, right there, I was risking it for the biscuit, okay? So, because I'm, I'm in a weird situation, so because I can't, don't really have anything to progress game state at all, except for the swords, yeah. right? So, like, I just go swords, hoping that that's a bug, and I activate the last will. If that was a bug, um, the uh, bug would have went away. I would have went into Wall of Illusion. But, mm -hmm. like, um, you would have lost a monster, right? And you'd be wide open. Yeah. So I would normal summon, like, a, a Battle Ox or something to follow it up with. And if you did have the trap hole, you wouldn't activate it because I'm still under last will. And, like, yeah. and I would just go into another monster. So, like, you wouldn't burn the trap hole. You see what I mean? Like, so no, right, yeah, right there, it, re it really it's was, like, risking it for the biscuit. Um, but since that's the, that's the case, uh... I mean, I didn't, I, didn't okay. summon, I didn't summon that this turn, right? That was flipped last turn, so we'll flip summon it. And put it in defense. Yeah, you're good. Cool. All right, so this is turn one for yeah. swords. But I think overall, like, even going first or second, I think I made the right move. Like, I mean, last will could be, like, a weird card if you're not in the mirror match. Because, mm -hmm. like, um, if, I mean, because you use last will in the mirror match to smack into your opponent's battle ox, for example, like with your ox, and then you get another monster on top of it, and you'd like, then you go into Wall of Illusion and get an extra thousand, you know, like for free. Yeah. Let's go card destruction. See some more cards. Like, you're really happy to see card destruction every single time that you in burn, see yeah. it in 2002. In burn, yeah. Because uh, I'm actually, like, in, I'm in standard in mirror matches, I hate seeing it. Like when me and yeah. you play, like when when we when me and you are playing like our actual decks, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I, I I usually hate seeing it, but when I do see it, it's usually at the right time, you know. Like it's it, I don't know. Like when when I like seeing it, it's just because I top deck it at the right time. But usually, like when I see it, it's just kind of like I've already got advantage and I don't want to lose it, or we're yeah. like you know we're already at one for ones and I don't want to be a card behind you, so I just like leave it in hopes that you'll try to like get it. You know what I mean with something? Yeah. Like uh, it's it's hard to explain. It was just, it's just good and like, I mean, in Burn, it's like, man, I wish I had just search right now. Ooh. Um, in Burn, it's like, I don't know, like, Hinotima and Trapmaster are always cards that you kind of keep in your hand and pitch for card destruction or like, you know, if you, like if you have double elf or something. So it's like, you always have cards to pitch with Burn, but no, you're good on that, son. Okay. So then, Bug. Mm, nice. So if you have Wabaku, no, I ain't got Wabaku. I'll take the uh, cool. twenty-three. This thing's being slow as hell for me. Mhm. Mm no, yeah, I already got, I already took the damage. I think. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah you to... took the damage. Okay, cool. This thing's just lagging. Like I'm trying to like. Hold on. So. Very oh, good. Doing good. There it goes. And then set. You hardly ever see two face up bugs on the no, field. No, yeah, it never happens. Like on the same side. Yeah, it, it like uh, burn and like odd decks forces standard to play a weird. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it really comes down to like the better player. Um, like, um, well, then again though, um, my sides like I have really good sides. It's just like, um, I didn't you do you don't I didn't go into it because I'm like still we're we're still trying to play like game one scenarios and stuff like going back and forth like because we're trying to uh, figure out like the viability of burn, but I think it's very very viable. Mm -hmm. but, and I think that I actually think it's so viable that it can it can beat standard and like it just needs to and if you're in like especially in game one scenarios I think that it, it's just like that it's it's just like the equip deck to where in like certain game one scenarios it really just catches your opponent off guard and overpowers oh them. yeah agreed okay ah, what am I doing uh, I didn't mean to do that you didn't mean to go to battle phase yet? <laughs> okay, okay. So you're I didn't so even mean to summon that in the deck. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, go ahead. This is turn two, right, for swords? Yeah, two, that was turn two for swords. So your next turn will be your last. Um, Technically, I would have sided out the trap holes already. But then again, though, knowing that... You, but then again, though, Burn could play like... Like I could, you could, so game one against burn, you could ghost out. Like I could be like, oh, well, I'm gonna side out my trap holes because he doesn't summon anything. But you could put in monsters because I take out the trap yeah. holes. <laughs> That's something else too. That's really funny. Well, one other notable thing too, I didn't think you thought of earlier, um, was like, um, and I, I don't know if this is like going on the video later or whatever, but like, um, so for whoever is trying to like play burn. Um, you actually you don't play man eater bugs because you want your opponent to have monsters on the field. You just want to be able to stop whatever you're doing right. whenever you do it. Right. So 
Um, nah, go ahead. Sword, swords, you want now? Man, I can't out that thing right now. I need a damn fissure, like, so bad. And see, I don't want to commit another monster to the board, because if you get a freaking... If you get a dark hole, you two for two. And mm -hmm. if and if you and if you uh, get the geki, then you you plus one. I'm like overthinking this. Yeah. So no, nothing. I Take out both the bags. Yeah, I don't have. I don't have a response. Bugs. That's good. So now you're uh -huh. in danger of the dark hole, though. Now I want dark hole. Mhm. Mm if I would have top decked it like a boss right there, that would have been pretty sweet. But you know, I'm I'm not, <laughs> I'm not cool enough for that. Um. Uh, I'm gonna go nice. ballsy. I'm gonna go ballsy. Yep. Yeah. Burn the Wabaku here since you're mm. playing Burn. Yeah. So I will then switch this thing to defense since I attacked with the Elf. Cool. Let's see what you got. Definitely up on card advantage. That's really weird for Burn. That is That's really good. weird, actually. Yeah. Oh, you saw so, yeah, Potagreed. Well, 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 you went for. Wait, did you, no? I went first, but uh, you saw Potagreed. I saw Pot. Yeah. That would be mm, nice. Nice. Um, oh, so. no. Oh, you know what negged me? Um, that move I did with Last War earlier when I was hoping that that was a bug. If that, mm -hmm. if that would have been a bug, that would have been sweet, but it wasn't a bug, so it screwed me. I was actually hoping that this was that, that was a wall. It's a small price to pay to get it back to my hand, so I'm not susceptible to, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. All right, top decking war. Here we go. Pretty much. Good. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, it really is weird, like, playing 2002 after, like, I mean, even yesterday I played, like, Go Format at Locals for, like, three hours, and it was, like, every single time somebody activated Pot of Greed, either had the Magic Jammer mm -hmm. or the Magic Drain. So, like, in 2002, it's like, I can't do anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, every, like, just about every effect in 2002 format goes through. Ooh. So the the idea with Trapmaster is you want to bait out reinforcements. Um, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Um, but you hit my because, dead trap hole. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I mean, that's good too. Yeah, like, it, 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 well, it is. Either well, way. Well, it's good for me. Like the, the fact that you hit my trap hole is good for me against your deck. Normally, mm -hmm. in a standard build, it would be bad for me for you to hit the tr the trap hole with your Trapmaster because then that means that leaves me with less one less response to you having like a yeah yeah. Uh, was that one 600? Yes, yeah, the 600 one. A notable thing too, if you're playing Burn in 2002, just desserts, Ukazi, and Final Flame are obviously three ofs, and you play three Hinotima, but Hinotima is more of a card where like um, you want to kind of like save it in, in your hand, and it's it's kind of a card destruction target unless you need it at the moment, if that makes sense. Hmm. Like, unless you're trying to. You know, go for a game right there. It's a pitchable card because it only does 500 versus the other ones that do 6 to 8 in a thousand. Dude, I'm going to be honest, man. Like, this is getting really awkward really fast because, like, I'm running mm -hmm. out of, like, if I because if I don't see fissures, like, I'm running mm -hmm. out of outs to your monsters. Like, it's pretty yeah. crazy. Um, um chain. That. This one. That's good. That's all three desserts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't have to worry about it no more. Okay. Um battle. Okay. Okay, I'll take five. Declare? Okay. Um That puts me in so I'm at twenty three fifty now. Yeah, twenty three. Yeah, I know yeah, twenty three fifty. That means I'll take uh, what nine fifty, right? Yeah, unless you no, no, change reinforcements. Eight fifty. How much will I take? So uh, twenty three fifty. Uh, that's nine fifty. Nine fifty. Yeah. Okay. I'll take nine fifty. Okay. That's getting down low though. Yeah, it is. Playing against burn is kind of scary. But I burned the. See what's cool though is I burned that and like that was coming back to my hand anyways. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. it was correct, but like, um, just it's just the life points is the problem. I'm not pretty kidding. much. Like I think right that was here. the correct move, but like the life points is the issue, you know. Um, because like okay. right because like right now, if your whole hand, I I feel like your whole hand is monsters. So like, um, it is. 
So you have that. You're gonna try to suicide. Mm. Yay. I'll let you suicide. Okay. Then you're gonna activate wall cue? Or? No, I'll take the 800. Okay. The thing is, though, if no. you have, like, you have oh, a yeah, lot of Oh, yeah, I got the burn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 14, 19, that's game. Dang, see? That was really <laughs> good. No, 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 see, that that actually, that, this, that's perfect. I'm really glad we got this clip, because now I'm like, mm -hmm. it, it really goes to prove that um, that burn is really, really, really viable in the format. Because yeah. I'm, I, cause I'm trying to make all the correct moves, but, like, the correct moves are screwing me. Yeah, you know, if I like, and, and honestly, like, in all Let's the do one more. Yeah, it, well, and um, I look because um, um, since you had all the card, like all these cards in hand, and you had like all these empty zones, I thought that you mm. were that uh, you had just a bunch of bunch of monsters in hand, right? So since you were able to bluff, it, it won you the game because I was like, oh, those are all monsters in hand. I don't need to worry about the burn. I can I can uh, use my life points as a resource right now. But it was yeah. the opposite. I was like, okay, life points is a resource, but you go, uh, no, fuck you, I have the spells, so you lose. And that's, exa <laughs> that's exactly what happened. By the way, did you have a trap hole set? Yes. Perfect example why Mystical Elf and Spirit of the Harp are good. Yes. And, did um, you lose my sets? Um, and it, mm. put me, it put me in a weird situation for change of heart, because I'm like, okay, when do I... Like, I was trying to, like, wait out until I need it. Like, um, it, it made me... It made me realize, so the minute ago, when you smacked into me with the uh, Wall of Illusion, I could have went reinforcements, but I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to do that because I want to save my reinforcements for, like, 2K booties, right? So yeah. I just let it die. You smack into me with A, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. Life points is a resource, but then you had, uh, the, you know, you had the burn. And the change of heart, like, change of heart is just really awkward because I don't want to take anything, you know, to the end phase unless I know I'm, I'm going to get damage in. If I don't, if I'm not going to get damage in, and there was no situation there where I would have gotten damage in. There was no point mm -hmm. in, in me activating the change of heart at all. It was just like this dead Makes card. Sense. It was really, really good. You know, I just realized that change of heart, and not change of heart, that mystical elf. I kind of want to be a different card. My side, <laughs> I mean, my side's still not complete either. I mean, it's mostly complete, but like right now, like, like, okay, so you were like rushing me earlier. I had one spot yeah. in the side left. I put in giant soldier of stone because you're like let's play, and I'm like, <laughs> all right. So I just like literally just look up soldier of stone because we were talking about it and put it in the side. I was like, yeah. okay, this will be my side then. So did you end up putting it in? No, no. Oh, oh yeah, 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 it's in the side deck right now. Yeah, but like, I mean, I didn't put it in right now. No. Right. Very nice, very nice. Oh, sword. So what you have to do is you have to like, this. Hopefully, this will be a really good example. But yeah, it definitely proved my theory from the last one I was talking about. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. we need another game. Like, it, it is my theory. Like, so basically, you have to either have the, like you have to change, change. You have to recognize when you're playing against burn and change strategies like early. Mm -hmm. But you also have to have the fissures to be able to do it. And I didn't have the fissures. I had trap holes. Yeah. And they were dead. Yeah, you, you need a side out. Um, like, you need to, you honestly need to side in um, one or two card destruction if you're not already playing them. Um, because you need to be able to see fissures and your, uh, like, your, your your board wipes quicker. Exactly. Like, so, and then get rid of, like, your whatever, you know. Um, let's go ahead and do this. This is a pretty good... Spot to do no, this. No, no, no. Um, yeah, it was a good spot to do it, especially because that got two of my worm beasts because I drew two. With um and with burn, like I was saying earlier, um, you play um so many monsters that have like big defenses. Like you play three wall, three spirit, three stone, and three elf. So it's like um between those and the the dead Hinotimas. I say Hinotima can be dead, but it, you really don't want to just burn a Hinotima just because you know. Mm -hmm. No, you but, wanna um, wait. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, because because like right then, like right, it was perfect. Yeah, because like, um, it was perfect until the end. You don't want to burn your your spells all the way through because um, you know, you want to give your your opponent like the false sense of oh, I have plenty of life points left. Mm -hmm. yeah, like that's what it is. Like because life points as a resource is a huge thing in this format. Like it is oh, yeah. like the unspoken resource that you have. It's pretty nuts. Um, like I completely agree with you. Like I really, really do. You're like you're you're really on the right track there. Um. 
thing is, am I on the right track here? But I mean, I, like, I know it was bad for you, but it, it was kind of bad for me too. Whenever, oh shit, whenever you had the, uh, uh, that was good. Value. You know, it's, you know, it's even better. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, dude. And that's gonna return to my hand at the end phase. Um, let's go on the summon though. That's good. You could do it in battle phase. Yeah, you could do it in battle phase too. You know. Yeah. Either way. So yeah, actually, we'll actually technically, there. you kind of want to wait until battle battle phase because, like, let's just say I I summoned the wicked worm beast already. You didn't know I mm -hmm. had monster reborn. That is true. You know what That's I mean? True. You, you would have like. Well, let's just say you go okay. Um, you know, uh, let's just say activate just as urge and then you summon something else. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly, that exactly. Suck. So you want to wait till battle phase. That's really good. Okay, so main two set. Now this is really good. This is really showing, and it like it's just showing the power of my side deck too. Like you don't know it yet, but mm -hmm. like it's really showing the power of the side deck. I really do feel like card destruction's a good side though. I don't know if you're siding it or not, but it's like. I am. But Ooh, ooh, hoo, hoo, I side, hoo. I side one card destruction. Um, to, to it, it, it bridges the side. It's really good. Nice. It bridges the side. Side didn't stop defense. Yes, three of them. That's very good. That's very exactly good. Exactly right, dude. That's what I'm saying. And look, I got the combo. Mm. Yeah, dude. That that this this is really showing the power of the side. I'm really excited. I almost, I almost would have just if I were you attacked with the worm beast anyway. Um, because I don't play reinforcements. Yeah, I don't play reinforcements in this deck. So, um. Oh, that's a good point. No, 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 that's yeah. a good point. Well, yeah, burn playing reinforcements is stupid. I mean, you play like one copy of Castle Ball, but that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, no, you're right. I was just, I was just getting greedy with the damage. Is all. Oh yeah, and this is in my hand. Yep. Yeah. I was just getting greedy with the damage. Hmm. Just like the more we can define this format, the more people will, like understand it and want to play it. Nice. Okay. That's good. 200. Shoot. Seriously, all the little bitty like 200s and 400s and 600s that you take from like all my monsters having big booties like really does add up like yeah. in the end. Oh, nice. Yeah, see, I'm just like trying to stay ahead of you right now because like now I know <laughs> for it like, like so this is like this is like Except the... for this. Oh, yeah. But this is like the game two situation, so like I do know what you're playing, and I have to be more aggressive. And like every time I burn a fissure, you're right. I did, I shouldn't have burned the fissure earlier. Every time I burn a fissure, it needs to be on something that is sitting in defense position that has two K booty. Every mm -hmm. single time I activate it against this deck, and then and if you do that, you'll win. Like, Pretty much. Absolutely. And I think that if I lose now, it's because of it's because of you pointing that out earlier. It's like you should have attacked with the with the uh, wicked worm beast anyways. And plus, like yeah, then the wicked worm beast would have gone to my hand because it was a it was a wall of illusion. So yeah, that was a huge huge misplay. Yeah. And you had the geki. Mm, let's go sit. Ooh. What do I do here? Another notable thing, also, and I'm just gonna tell you that I have it, but like I have changed a heart in hand. And like, um, mm -hmm. I've had it for a little while, and it's like, change of heart in burn. Like usually you would set change of heart uh, in fear of card destruction, and if you're playing standard. But like with burn, change of heart is almost a card <laughs> destruction target. Like yeah, so it, like I'm not you see, even see, that no, at no, all. no, 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 and it's fine because like uh, honestly, when I when I started, I was like I don't know what to do. Here's the reason mm -hmm. why. Oh, oops, it's because of this this right here. Mm, so yeah. we we were in a we were it's fine. Like you know you. I was probably gonna activate it anyways, yeah. Because like looking at like looking at what I have set and stuff, like and honestly, this just got me. It got me there. It, yeah. It, it finally got me to a monster I could set. But what sucks is that burned um, that burned my wicked worm beast that I reborn back, which is gay. I'm not sure what you have face down. Probably a bug. I'm gonna guess it's a bug. I don't know what else you would set. Hmm. Alright, let's find out. I mean... Nah, dude. I wish. Really? Yeah. I wish. Like, right now, we're gonna be in a stalemate situation. We're in a top-decking Oregon. And, uh, w which is fine, though, because, um... So, even even though technically earlier I misplayed, it's fine, because if you if you look at cards, like, you, it's, it's correct, because you started, so I should be a card behind you. And I am. Mm. 
but I would be a card ahead of you if I didn't. Shoot but you, but you're winning as far as like, I mean, uh, theory. What is it like? Twenty five hundred life points equal one card in two thousand two. As far as like his life points as a resource, so it's like somewhere between like twenty five hundred and three thousand life points equal like they're pretty much like if I was behind um, by twenty five hundred life points, but. Um, I had a, a one card advantage, like you don't exactly care. Yeah. like it would it would even out like yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, I'm just sitting here like, what is the correct move to make? You know, I think the correct move is to stay in the stalemate right now. Yeah. Which is so odd, like some like in this yeah. format, it's like so odd. It's like the correct move is to not further game state at all. Like what? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's really weird. But nice. Oh crap! Attack. Yeah. But ooh, it's cool for you because if you have the trap hole right now, I just flip some in that. No, uh, you're good. Nice. So that Go is good it. then. Dang, stop defense is real. So far, it's been how many two? Two, yeah. And they've all been like they've all been full value. Yes, like, for sure. exactly. Like because stop defense becomes a fissure, so yes, to speak. Yes, exactly. It's really good. That's why I was saying like this is re really showing the power of the side deck and how to side mm -hmm. properly in the format. Like I'm really excited right now. I'm like I'm like really giddy. I know you. Like, like, <laughs> I'm really giddy. Like it's just freaking fun. And I think what I'm going to do with this video, honestly, dude, and I'm going to leave this in. I don't care. Like, I'm just going to call the video, like, defining defining a format, you know, and I'm going to kind of introduce it. Mm. But, ooh. And see, this is perfect because this is going to show. It's, it's good for me, too. It's, it's going like to show I, exactly why I didn't burn my D spell ooh, earlier. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Darn. That's, that's real. That hurt, actually. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> The power of the side deck, bro. The power of the side deck. Ugh. <laughs> uh, okay. But now it's like, what do I do here? So now I'm a card ahead of you because I, I just played right and dug mm -hmm. until I got the pot of greed. Um, oh, yeah. And, and another thing is, like, the, like on paper, you want to dig to your to your pot of greed first before your opponent, like, too. That's mm -hmm. another thing. Um, what do I want to do, though? Usually burn will, will like theoretically see pot of greed first because you main two card destructions okay so you're attacking yep attacking trap with, master. with logic okay. so um trap master will like in 2002 for burn you don't play man eater bug okay i'm gonna i'm gonna burn. chain and i'm gonna chain Ooh. it to a uh, wall of illusion nice 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 15 Yeah, you kind of got me on the fence right here, dude. I need to, I need to be seeing some more cards. Yeah, those stop defenses were see, real, no, dude. No, no, the, yeah, I know, I know they were, but that, that that goes to prove the point, though. Like exactly, you know. So like, the, this is amazing because like instead of just saying like on paper, like oh, like mm -hmm. you know, like on paper, like oh yeah, like you catch your opponent off game one. Like we always say, this is proving it. Like you catch your opponent off guard game one, and then game two you get wrecked if they side right. Mm-hmm. I typed in the 800, so, it's just being, yeah. Doing so better. right here, I think you won because you have exactly 28 on board, and I didn't see a monster. That, yep. And, uh, so, and plus, this is a reinforcements. Yeah. And this is a D spell. Oh my gosh. And my next card is a Man Eater Bug. So. so you would have only taken 18, 25, 29 right there. Oh, that would have been close, though. Yeah, it is close. Um, cool. But yeah, that just shows the power. That's, that's side a, deck, dude. That was good. Yeah. Right, right, dude. But we also, but we also go to prove, like this. This video really accomplished, like it accomplished three things. Like we, we proved um, that burn is viable. A, mm -hmm. we proved that side decks work in this format and are amazing. And we proved that like all the crap that we think we know about this format on paper that we've been like taking mental notes of, like mm -hmm. we just proved another one of those things to be true. For sure. It's really great. Are we doing one more? Or we call it. Uh, we could do another one. Just to have. We can call that one and one. We'll, we'll call this game three. Yeah, let's call this game three. But right here, and I don't even know how to feel about Dian Quito. I feel like Dian Quito, like, is literally only for, like, okay, well, let's go into game three with two minutes left. Oh, I drew Dian Quito. I win, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, 
But I, I feel like that's kind of lame. Um, do I want to side anything else? I don't even think I want to side anything else. I think I sided perfectly, man. You know what I did? It's, you know, it's exactly what I told you last night, dude. I, I took out, except in this situation, against mm -hmm. Burn, instead of taking out the Wabakus, uh, I took out the, um, I took out the, uh, trap, uh, trap holes and put in, uh, stop defenses. And then I took out the two Swords of Revealing Light and I put in D-Spells. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, really and, good. And, it, and it goes into what exactly what I was saying, like, before the Skype call, where I was like, you know, if you take out the Swords, you have to put in D-Spell. Because mm -hmm. like you're you're forfeiting by by taking out your swords, you're forfeiting your you know your stall to dig for a card, you know what I mean. So since you're forfeiting that, you need to have something to get rid of their swords so you can keep pushing. Like you're sacrificing, you know, the ability to stall and grind for aggressiveness. It's it's literally a one for one trade off, yeah, just like sense. anything else in the format. Like this is the one format where Konami actually you know gave a damn about <laughs> you know like uh, like yeah. This, if they if they took most notes, evened out format. Yes, if they took notes from themselves, like we'd still have a fair game. Yeah, it's this thing. I said another one, but it's being yeah. Here we go. Hmm. Interesting. I'm really kind of curious what that is. Hmm. I don't know. What's really interesting is that you're not playing bug. I feel like burn can play bug. Well, you can, but you want your opponent to have um, monsters on the field for just desserts. True. Like, that is so true. Dang. Yeah. The, you, you swap out the three bug for the trap master so the trap masters can out their reinforcements and wabakus and drop holes because all those cards are really good against burn so you um, are, yep you, you're right i mean but bug is just as much of a one for one as trap master is except for you don't want to get rid of the monsters so, i mean it's yeah yeah Ooh, that's good um okay. and right here oh no response nope oh, okay See right there, I did, so I purposely that time um, mm. I was gonna wait until it went through, but like um, so I purposely that time, um, and I, I flipped the bug first and then summoned because I wanted that one set to be a trap hole. Yeah. That's another thing with Wicked Worm Beast. Like, oh my god, dude. Like Wicked Worm Beast, like I don't know if you would want to trap hole it because. You do, um, you do in standard. You do in standard. Uh, no, I mean, no, no, no. Like, um, yeah, in standard, but like for burn, it's kind of like. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's You're like... Right. Well, and, the reason, uh, and the reason why you want to burn it in standard, and my theory behind like wanting to burn it in standard, is because like it's like, okay, well, you want to save your La Gens for... I mean, now, you want to save your Trap Holes for La Gens, right? But if, mm -hmm. they're, but, but if they're playing Wicked Worm Beast, what you want to do is you want to swap in, like, well, not necessarily all the time. It depends on the game state. But, like, you kind of want to use, like, your Trap Hole on the Wicked Worm Beast and just use your, then, like, rely on your reinforcements to out their lodge in instead of burning. Pretty the, much. You know, like. Uh, yeah. No, you're right. I think so. I think I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Just keeping the grind on, dude. Mm. I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep it on. Cause I don't know what you got set in the middle over there. and Don't tell me, but I would have picked the middle. Okay. So. <laughs> if, it makes, if it makes you feel better, if you would have picked the middle, it would have been dead. Okay. Well. Um. I mean, like, uh, uh, I mean, like, uh, you wouldn't have gotten it. I mean. Yeah. Okay. Then see, that's my theory about um about trap master. Like, okay, so you attack, like, I attack into your trap master. Okay, trap master mm -hmm. is a fifty fifty chance it's going to be a one for one or just a neg one. I mean, you know what I mean? It's. Oh, um, dude. I mean, there's nothing you can do except for reinforcements, maybe. I mean, <laughs> like that's fine. That's totally fine. I'd rather you waste reinforcements on that than okay. Like, <laughs> well, th then again, I, I well, I accomplished the same thing either way though because, um, like, I still got rid of a two K booty. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, if you weren't, if you didn't pull that move off, you were gonna set it anyways. Yeah. So like, either way, that worked out. So you, I've burned a Geki and Enforcements. You've burned a Trap Master. That's not. We haven't really gone through anything yet. I haven't been really getting a whole lot of value out of my stuff. It's been really kind of awkward. I've been getting huge um, value. <laughs> Dang. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Yeah. And then Warren Beast goes. Yeah, Warren Beast will go. Okay. Hmm. All right. Wow. Well. Mm 
Yeah, this is interesting. Okay. Um, you will take six. I was hoping that was a wall of illusion, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Turn a bug to defense. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna do that too. That's fine. I don't know when the right time to do that is. Gosh, I'm just gonna wait. Mm -hmm. Man, that is very awkward. I mean, you got chapel. Um, no, I mean, that's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. All right. Just. But can I can I come back? That's the question. That's the question. Um. Well, you know I don't play Yukazi like like you're like you're cheeky ass. So let's go with that. And then, um, dang, this is really, really, really weird. Okay, um, man. Okay, so let's go on the end phase. Is as stupid as this is gonna sound. No, I dude, that, that was that was the correct move. No, 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 no. But I think that Burn does not need to run Raigeki because I have not had the right time to. No, no, burn Activate doesn't. No, that. no, bug d does need to to open to play Raigeki because the situation. It's the opposite of what you think. Because the situation actually has come up a couple times now. Um, mm -hmm. get, okay, so I'll have I, I have monster cl purpose. Mo per uh, I will have oh, purposeful monster clog. Right, like just then, like right there. Um, I set another bug to to destroy your monster. Right. Mm -hmm. Because I couldn't just I couldn't kill your monster and I didn't want to attack into you know what I mean with well, with bug. It also defeats the purpose of, um, like, wanting to keep monsters on your opponent's side of the field. Like, I mean, it. I don't know. It, right, like, Greg is really weird in this format, for sure. I'll tell you what's... Yeah. No, no, no. You like, you, you want to keep Gekki. For this, like, for this deck, anyway. I don't know. It's, it's forcing... It's uh, forcing... I'm just attacking with five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm saying, though, it's, it's, since you're forcing Monster Clog on my side, you, you want the Gekki and Dark Hole. <laughs> And I, I see what I don't know about though is is change of heart. You could probably cut change of heart. And change of heart, we've already we've already discovered it's the worst of the big five anyways in this format, mm -hmm. unless you have summon skull. But you know, I've already cut summon skull because it, like the more you play, the more you realize it's kind of bad. Mm -hmm. like, uh Agreed. I mean, it can be really good. Like it can be a super like it can be a power card, and you're glad when it is that for you. But it's just usually not. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Man, that is not cool. Shoot. Is that it? That's it, dude. Nice. All right. That's it. That's it. Oh, so I had... Honestly, I would have rather that right Gaki been this card the whole entire time. The next card of my day. Absolutely. Yeah, that would have saved you. Yeah. Like, I think, honestly, right Gaki is a cuttable, cuttable card if you're going... For like, I mean, in in the theory of, um, you're really you're not trying to destroy your opponent's monsters, just trying to, like, burn them for what they have, you know, like, and then right. trying to stall. So, so like, I don't know, like, yeah. So yeah. We, well, this it just it just further shows the power of the side, and mm -hmm. like, uh, the one thing I forgot to mention earlier is um, I cut out um, my last will for a card destruction as well. I, so I, I swapped Makes out. Sense. I took out all three trap holes, put in three stop defense. I took out both swords, put in two D spells, and I took out my last will because last will is dead against you. You know I'm not playing the mirror and swapped it for a card destruction so I could try to see the stop defense. Yeah, it makes perfect sense, man. This is so like this, this just goes to further prove that like I mean even though my side deck isn't complete, it's like it's accurate so far. Yeah, that makes sense. It's really accurate. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Yeah. Well, all right, well, I'm getting off here, so... All right, dude. Subscribe! <laughs>